Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a tool called PS Logged On and how to use PS Logged On to check and see who's logged on to a specific system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go get PS Logged On. I will provide a link in the description to Microsoft's TechNet to download PS Logged On. Or if you go to Google and do a Google search and type in PS Logged On, you'll be directed to either Sys Internals Tools or to the PS Tools. Just type in PS Logged On, and there it is PS Logged On TechNet. So once you're actually at this particular page, and you can see this says Windows Sys Internals, these have a lot of tools that you're really going to want. So you click on Download PS Tools, it'll download the file, click Save File, click OK. Now this is a .zip, so it is a zipped up archive file that has a bunch of different files in it. You're going to need either WinZip, Windows 7 has its own archive tool, but it kind of blows. You're going to want WinZip, 7-Zip, or WinRare. Any one of those can extract it out. And if you come over here, you can click on this to actually take it to the folder that the file is downloaded in. Now, as you can see, there's PS Tools right here. If you right-click on it, you can go to Extract All. And then just click Extract, leave Show Extracted Files when completed. Now it's going to extract it all out. And there's your actual files right there inside of that folder. So you can close that. We're going to take and pull the folder. Right click on it and click cut. We're going to go directly to the C drive. Right click and hit paste. And we now have the tools that we need to do what we're going to do. So you're going to want to click on start and you're going to want to start command prompt and if command prompt's not anywhere right here don't feel bad that's typical on most systems. Go to your search programs and files which is also your search and run type in CMD and hit enter. And that's Charlie Mike Delta CMD. You will now have the DOS prompt. Yes they will tell you that DOS does not exist in the newer versions of Windows which is a complete and total farce. As long as you have command prompt DOS is still there. So we're going to type in who am I to see who we're logged on as. This is Lab PC Charles and we're going to do a netstat minus NFO on this machine so we can see who's connected to it. Right now it's pretty much just the system itself. Thankfully, I already know what the IP address is to the system that I want to look at. So we're going to pretend that my system is currently connected to this one. And we're going to type in ping minus A 192.168.182. And you can see pinging Charles PPC. And there's the, the actual time to live and everything in the route. Yeah, the, the actual ping it's going to tell you how long it took. The time to live is currently set at 63 because Windows normally sets a TTL starts it out at anywhere between 64 and 128. So it's a pretty direct connection here. Now we have the host name, the IP address. So who's currently logged on to my computer? Well I would like to know that since I'm seeing that it's actually up and live. So we're going to type in cd, back, cd space c colon backslash ps tools and hit enter. Now we're in the folder where ps logged on is. So we're going to type in ps logged on space backslash backslash and either the system name or the IP address. I'm not going to use the host name. I'm going to use the IP which is what you're most commonly going to use for doing this type of work. And this may take a minute, and you're going to get this little agreement that pops up. Just click Agree. 
And sometimes you'll get that come back where it says unable to query your resources logged on or resource logons. That is surprisingly not as uncommon as you would think. So let's go hit my lab server real quick. We're going to run PS logged on against 192, 168, 1, 100. And as you can see right there on my test server, it comes back as dark serve and currently administrators logged on. So you're not always going to get into everything. And I know part of the reason why it will not hit my uh, primary PC address. And it should also fell out on my daughter's PC as well which hers is currently 103 and that's because of some of the security software that I have running is blocking that connection and stopping the sys internals tool from being able to go in and read the system my lab server yeah I'm not so worried about it's not connected to the internet it's only tied into the primary network and I I really don't care if it's wide open so I can ping it check it out do all kinds of things with it that I normally wouldn't do but as you can see it's also going to fail going to my daughter's computer as well and it's because of the security software so PS logged on is a good tool for being able to go back and check and see who's actually logged on but it can also fail depending on what actual countermeasures are in place just like doing a ping if I try to ping my system, let's do my daughter's. We'll ping her computer. Because of the security software that's in place, as you can see, it's blocking out the ping requests. So you're not going to be able to get a good, reliable view. As you can see, PS logged on will actually go out and come back with reporting whoever's actually logged onto the system and if you run that on your own computer you'll see no one is logged in via share resource shares that's a good thing run it on your own computer from time to time and look and see who's logged on because if you see some random name logged on on a resource share odds are your system's compromised this information's out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have yourselves a great day.